Hey, what's up guys? Still City Dashcam here, just back with another review. Uh, this time I'm going to be taking a quick look at the Michter's Sour Mash. Um, this is very hard to get in Pennsylvania. Uh, at MSRP's, I want to say around $50. I got it for $60 out of state, which honestly is not bad. Um, just a little note in advance, you're going to probably hear some noise in the background. I have the, um, the Penguins Flyers game playing, so sorry in advance for that. Um, so... My goal is for these videos to be a pretty short, just a little overview of what we get here. So, as you can see, I already have myself a little pour. Glencairn glass, always, if you're doing tastings, use a Glencairn glass. The, um, the effect it has on your smell and um, how much of it you can take in, it makes a world of difference. Smell means so much when you're trying a whiskey. So, speaking of smell, on the nose, um, definitely a lot of kind of like flowery floral notes, um, a little oaky, a lot of fruit, a little bit of spice. Um, I don't get a lot of like that baking spice flavor. Um, now Michter's, at least in PA, it's readily, you're able to get rye readily. Um, and to my knowledge, this is a relatively high rye mash bill. Um, and you can definitely smell a little bit of it uh, on the nose, so let's give it a little try. Okay, lots of caramel, kind of dark fruits like berries early. I definitely pick up a little bit more spice as it, as it transitions toward the finish. Um, in fact, that's a lot of spice. Um, I definitely believe that this is a high rye. Uh, there's a lot of those those spicy baking spice rye flavor notes in this. Um, they of course don't say what it, what their mash bills are, so I won't know for sure. But I would I would bet money on this being a high rye blend. Um, and it's pretty sweet. Um, you get. A little bit of the, the finish is a little bit hotter it's sweeter as it starts and gets hotter as it goes but not heat in the sense of a burn heat in the sense of that spicy flavor um, it has warmth but it doesn't have heat if that makes sense it feels warm going down and it definitely you feel it you feel the spice in the finish but you do not feel a burn as if it's a high proof or a burn as if it is young and there's a lot of oak um a lot of unaged oak in there and um the oak and that kind of corn and fruity kind of flavor that's where you could tell the, the bourbon aspects of it are coming in all that you know it's made with more corn than anything else so you do get a good bit of that it's, I, I kind of would want to try it in a Manhattan uh, because of the high rye. Um, I have a feeling it would complement it well um, if you're a bourbon drinker and aren't as big of a fan of ryes and you want a Manhattan with a rye. I would try either this, maybe Redemption, their high rye bourbon. Um, other bourbons with a high rye mash bill, um, they're good places to start. This one is one that I... I'm curious as to how it would work in a cocktail, but I don't want to use it in a cocktail. It goes down really smooth. There's n no bite to it, just spice and just, it's very robust and it has a very complex um, flavor profile. Um, I've tried their bourbon. I thought it was really good. I've tried the rye. Uh, I'm more of a fan of the bourbon, but I'm more of a bourbon person in general. Um, but this might be my favorite. Um, only downside is it's harder to find, um, even than the bourbon. The bourbon isn't exactly um, simple to find in Pennsylvania either. But if you see it and you can get it around the MSRP, around the $50 to $60 range, it's worth a try, um, especially if you like high rye bourbons. If you are a rye person, this is a bourbon you'll like more than others. If you are a bourbon person, you'll like this more than a rye. Um, it's a nice in-between and definitely worth giving a try. Um, I'm not going to have any sort of rating system. I'm just telling you what it, uh, what you're going to get from it. But 
yeah, that's what you're going to get from it. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Um, if you stumble upon it, let me know if you try it out. Um, I'd like to hear when people try the things that I review on here. Um, but yeah, aside from that, thanks for watching, and I look forward to putting out the next one. Thanks.